Hello students, in this module we are going to check the Kaplan Mayer estimation 2 using R, the importance of Kaplan Mayer estimations, the application part and the statistical inference will be drawn from a sample data using R. Kaplan Mayer survival curves is defined as the probability of surviving in a given length of time while considering time in many small interval. It is having three basic assumptions like firstly we assume that any time patients who are censored have the same survival prospects as those who continue to be followed. Secondly, we assume that the survival probabilities are same for subject recruited earlier and later in the study and third the event have equal time follow up for specifications. This create problem in some conditions when the event would be detected at a regular examination. All we know is that the event happened between two examination estimated survival can be more accurately calculated by carrying out followed step that we are going to see. In this module we will illustrate the hazard rate estimation using R, the survival curves and hazard rate functions curves using R and the statistical inference using R. We are going for uh, Kaplan Mayer estimator module 2. Here at the end of this module we will learn how to generate hazard estimate using R, plot hazard rate in R and statistical inference about hazard rate. We start the This data taken from metronomic chemotherapy trial uh, published by Patel et al. in 2015 uh, on Journal of Oral Oncology. The partial data set is considered here where arm denoted as 0 for cetuximab arm and 1 for metrorex arm. Time variable is considered as survival or censoring time. Status is represented to at the end of the follow up what is the status of the patient as censored or not censored. So ES is represented by 1 for status of the patient and fourth variable gender of the patient is considered as a male or female as a sex and fifth variable is age. So we, what the baseline age of those patient is considered here. Now let us see the data. Here first arm um, for her few patients partial data set is considered here for first patients treated with cetuximab arm that is why it is given as 0, second patient with methotrexic arm given as 1 like all patients and if you go to again end part so you will see the last patient was treated again with the cetuximab arm. So as patients were treated in which treatment given as code 1 and 0. Second variable time considered as days of observations since these patients were hidden the cancer patients and they were in having phase 4. So uh, duration of life is expected very less maybe 2 to 3 months. Here we have seen some patients having days of observations 63, 68, 62 like and maximum observation here we have observed that 193 days and minimum 19 days. So this time is basically the follow up observation of each patient. Now coming to third variable that is status again given as 1 or 2. So if the patients censored then it is given as 1 uh, otherwise it given as 2. So those patient died is given as 2 here. Now coming to the 
variable sex is given as 1 for male and 2 for female. Now coming to age of the patient that is considered at the uh, study initiation when they entered in the study at that time their age is considered and age is considered at year like 25 years 32 42 23 now all these four five variables is considered into a database called data dot frame and assigned as a chemo database now if you put the summary of chemo then you will get the summary statistic descriptive statistics about this five variable you may try it now we go to second slide now load the library library survival and here the few work we will do in library survival and thereafter another library is required that is called library new hubs so there are some functions to get the hazard rate that is available in muhas but in addition to muhas we also have to lap load on the package called survival because few function in muhas is compatible with survival library go to next slide you had a hazard estimate so now when we down upload it in our r like survival and mohas package then we are going for function called kp has dot feed that is that is available in the mohas package when we put kp has dot feed and into parenthesis we put the time and status then and assign the whole functions value as kp feed then and if we call the kp feed then we will get the result that result i am showing to next slide again if we put another function that is called kp has dot plot and into parenthesis if we put kp fit we will get the plotting variable plotting the survival values here now we are going to next slide to show the statistics and plot here is the output given on um, for this uh, kp has dot fit function the you can see that through x-axis the duration of the patients observed in days are given that is given by time and through y-axis the hazard rate plotted here you can see that maximum hazard rate observed during this period is 0.5 however this is not the cumulative hazard this is simple hazard plotting where throughout the duration of the study how hazard rate keep on changes we can see you can see that with Mm, during 7 to 80 days patients are having higher hazard rate more than 15 percent that given through a y axis as 0.15 and thereafter rate reduce again uh, another peak of hazard rate observed during 120 days nearly 0.7 or 0.8 hazard rate and again it decrease so this is the uh, hazard rate uh, this is the beauty of this function kp has dot fit to plot the uh, hazard rate changes during the study period it gives some idea uh, what is the chances of what is the chances of the patient having died in which period and if they if they complete that period again what is the chances of their relapse or getting tight so it's a it's a very uh, uh, informatic graph to get the idea about the survival analysis survival comparison however in this graph we are not comparing two arms uh, to compare the two arms there are others method that we will check later but here this is the respective of the arm here we consider all patient data and check the how the graphs how their hazard changes over the period now we'll come to next function that is called muhas this function is available that we mentioned in library called muhas it estimates the hazard function from right sensor data using color based methods 
option include three type of bandwidth function, three types of boundary correction, and four shapes for the kernel function. It uses the global and local bandwidth selection algorithm and the boundary kernel function described in the Muller and Wark 1994 published article. It's also possible to get the nearest neighbor bandwidth formulation based on Gleffner and Date 1992 publication. The statistical properties of these MOAS functions are given for many estimator and reported uh, um, in paper of his in 1999. This estimate are similar in concept of the histogram estimator for the density function. It gives a feel for the feature of the data without manipulation involved in the smoothing. It also helps to confirm that Mohans is generating realistic estimate of the underlying hazard function. It is called and we will see here that uh, how the plot of Mohans shows. This is the estimates uh, given by the Mohans. So again here the follow up time is given through the x axis and hazard rate given and the y axis. Here how the hazard rate changes throughout the survival time that given by the mass functions and again mm, this is a estimates here we are not giving the any confidence interval only the kernel based estimate is given here for mass function. Mm, you can see that uh, initially the hazard rate was nearly 0 that is why the survival rate was 100 percent as time passes the hazard rate keep on increase and uh, and end of the study it reached to maximum of more than 4 percent so this is a one kind of cumulative hazard rate and alternative of the kaplan meier curves as kaplan meier curves uh, as follow up times increases kaplan meier curves keep on decreases here as follow up time increases hazard rate function values also keep on increases as alternative of the kaplan meier's value now we are coming to another function that is called phas that also available in the library called mohas it also gives the plot if we give the function phas and after that follow up times and follow up status or if we keep the time and status of the values within parenthesis and assign it as a valuable here we had we had assigned it as a fit and again we call that fit within the parenthesis of plot then we get the fit estimates of produced by pehas let's see how the estimates looks this is the r estimates uh, it gives the estimates piecewise exponential hazard function from the right sensor data it divide the time domain into bins of equal width and then estimate the hazard in each bin as the number of event in the in that bin divided by the total follow up time in that bin so it's a basically bin wise estimates of the hazard functions again here time given through x axis and hazard rate given as y axis and follow ups detail here. Now we will come to the next presentation next function that is library. Now we will now we will Now we will uh, come to another library that is called BS hazard and uh, basically it uh, stands for baseline hazard estimations. Uh, again BS into the BS hazard if we, if we put the 
uh, function called SURB that is available in the library called survival and in sub if we put the time and status here we are putting status equals to 2 for these uh, censored observations for the date observations and uh, followed to the data called chemo and again these this uh, bs hazard functions values uh, assigned to a uh, to fit mm, and again we are calling uh, the fit and plotting the fleet value with time and hazard and as a x axis we are putting its labeling as time and as a y axis we are labeling at as a rate or percent days and type is basically is used to uh, to give the idea about the what kind of line will be there so in an r package and r can you may get different kind of combinations or choose for to represent the type uh, here we are putting type equals to one to 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 get the default line type to represent here we are coming to the r output how oh, let's say how it looks it looks like that has a rate per person in days given and uh, again uh, it's quite similar looks similar um, uh, in like uh, earlier functions earlier output but uh, like given by phas but here um, it's a it's a wonderful uh, uh, wonderful interpretation can be there that rate per person per day is given by this bs hazard library function bs hazard function also and again y axis given the hazard percentage and x axis given the durations of follow up now coming to uh, to generate the confidence interval of that hazard uh, here we are putting that uh, feeds of raw data uh, and uh, again uh, as time and feeds of raw data of raw of hazard and again cx l l y d and color standing to generate different kind of uh, coloring and line uh, space and type for their floating and again if we put on that uh, fit lines the, if you see the second lines given as line of fit of time and fit of hazard with l t y 1 l w d 3 that will give us the uh, point estimates value of hazard function throughout the follow up periods second line lines fit times fit lower dot c i will give us the um, plotting value for uh, lower confidence interval of hazard function and lines fit time fit uh, uh, asterisk uh, upper dot c i will give us the um, upper confidence interval value estimates value of the uh, hazard functions now this l2i and lwd you can uh, changes to get different types of graphs different uh, color different uh, wide of uh, plotting values lines in the graphs but here we are putting l2i equal to 1 and lwd for 3 to represent the confidence interval uh, separately from the point estimates value of hazard we are putting lwd 1 uh, for lower confidence and upper confidence interval and LW3 for point estimates. Now so let's see the how looks graphs. This is the graphs. So there's a um, broader line there. It shows the point estimate of hazard rates at uh, rate per person days given by this earlier function in BS hazard. And again, the upper confidence interval and lower confidence interval is given. It's you can see that point estimate of hazard started from from zero and it reached nearly 0 0.09 at the end of the study that is around 25 to 250 day plus and uh, again the uh, upper confidence interval also started nearly 0 0.05 0 0.004 and reached again it uh, to more than 0 0.01 at the end of the study and uh, again confidence interval lower also started exactly from zero at the duration of 60 days around and it reached to nearly 0 0.01 at the end of the follow-up study this is the interpretation and the uh, and the function to generate the hazard functions in this module we have seen the application of r on survival analysis this module was focused on hazard rate estimation the hazard rate 
is a point estimate gives the how one arm having hazard in comparison into another arm in null hypothesis it is assumed that both arm are having equal hazard rate that is hazard ratio will be equal to 1 the point estimate of hazard ratio if comes more than 1 with its confidence interval also more than one interval then it can infer that one arm with reference to other arms having more hazard ratio it is depend which arms are considered as reference arm and which are arm are considered arm is considered as intervention arm generally the control groups are is considered as reference arm and the intervention or new experiment group considered as for to obtain the hazard ratio this applications of r to plotting the hazard rate also we have seen in this model the statistical inference how to make interpretations from the hazard rate estimations and graphical explorations of hazard rate we have also learn from this model.